Appreciate you, Hobie. Uh, Rob, we were talking off camera. I, I like to refer you as the logical guy behind everybody's decisions. <laughs> and the decision was made recently that Kevin O'Connell is the new head coach. Your thoughts being a part of that process? Man, it's all about the people, first of all. And it's just evident what a great person he is. Obviously smart. Um, but what really impressed me was uh, you know, a clear vision and a detailed plan. And uh, we're in good hands between him and Kwesi, no doubt. It, when you listen to that interview, when you listen to the press conference earlier, it, it doesn't do anything but energizes you. Yeah. What kind of energy do you think that will bring this team? Well, you know, I think hope, you know, and, and maybe it's a renewed hope. And I don't mean that from a standpoint that we didn't accomplish a lot of really great things. But um, I think there's just a lot of excitement and hope, you know, for the future and, and uh, determined to get this right mm -hmm. and win a world championship. Yeah, that's, a, that's the ultimate goal, and I know you've been a, a part of this organization since 1999. Five head coaching changes have happened since you've been here. What have you learned through the process of hiring a head coach from then until now? You know, I've been blessed. I, it's crazy. I've been here for six of the ten head coaches oh, wow. in Vikings history, and I've been through a lot of processes, and, uh, you know, you can get a lot more information, a lot more data, a lot more statistics, and all those things, but it still comes down to finding the right person, the right leader, and then projecting that person to be able to go into that next seat and, and, and lead this team. I know, you know, you have to look at it from an object, objective standpoint, you know, hey, this, these are the points we want to hit. But from a, you know, personal standpoint, what, what have you learned just through this search process? That's a great question. Uh, number one, there are a lot of really great coaches, uh, aspiring head coaches. Uh, I think there's others in the pool that are definitely going to get to, you know, to that stage. And then I would say... Um, the, important, uh, the importance of diverse thought. You know, when you talk about diversity, you may talk about gender, color, all those types of things. But you know, one thing in talking to so many smart, experienced uh, general manager candidates, head coach candidates, diversity of thought, the way people think differently, have different perspectives, is uh, it's important. Well, we got that here now. And yeah. next steps moving forward, we got to build that championship culture. How do we do that? Well, we're going to get to work on that, and, and, and it's cliche. I've been blessed to be here a long time. I'll be, this is my 30th year. I've been in our stadium for every home game. Uh, our fan base, there's, there's, there's no fan base like it. We're on the road. Um, we, we represent in every stadium. Our fans are so passionate. They love this football team so much. We just want to win a world championship for them. They deserve it. They've been waiting a long time. Rightfully so. Hobie, back to you.